Hi, welcome to another video. Been working on that frequency counter over the last couple of days. I wanted a, a frequency counter or RPM counter that was accurate down to one count per second. Uh, so what I've done, you, you might have seen the other videos, I've uh, done away with the Capture 2. Uh, when I'm just using a Capture 1 and messing about with the pre-scaler on the timer. Uh, I explained in the other video I thought the buffers were overflowing, it's actually the timers were overflowing. Uh, so I've slowed the timers down and got an accurate count. So that's flashing at 1 hertz. you see there. I don't know if you can see the LED flashing in this light. Let's go to 1 times a second or 60 times a minute. So if I demonstrate the accuracy, see if I knock this down 1 hertz to 0.9 you see it drops to nothing, so it's not going at once a second, it's only 0.9, so turn it up one, once a second. You can, hopefully you can see this display here, 1.9, so it's still on one, go to two, two hertz, flashes up there, 120 times a second. So this is good if you've got something running slow, just, I don't know, motors or whatever. If you're measuring turbo charges or whatever and you happen to hundreds of thousands and this will probably do but the higher the count um, it starts counting in instead of ones it starts counting in bigger chunks as uh, the higher the frequency the less accurate it is uh, i've actually got written down here somewhere so i think up to two up to 140 counts per second it's accurate to within one count per second uh, over 200, I changed the pre scaler from 1 to 256, I changed it to 1 to 64. So it's then counting up in bigger steps, and at 1000 hertz, it's accurate to within 7 counts per second, or jumps up 7 counts per second. And then I think at uh, 31,000 hertz, it's accurate to within 5,000 counts, or starts jumping up in 5,000 counts per second. Right, so I'll I'll just wind this up before I sh I'll show you the code in a minute. So I just want to show you how accurate this is. So I change the scale to. So we got 10 hertz. This, if 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 you had a like a Hall effect uh, on a motor, just measuring one. Uh, pass every revolution, then you'd have your 10 hertz, 600 rpm. Twenty hertz, 1,200 rpm. So change the scale. So let's go up in tens. 100 hertz. You can see that, so 100 hertz, I've gone up 1, 2, or down 2, so it's still accurate, 100, and obviously 100 hertz, that'd be about 6,000 RPM. Change the scale, what, 200 hertz, this is where the scaling changes, uh, at 201 hertz I believe. Yeah, anything about 201, I'll change from 256 to 1 to 64th pre-scale. So hopefully you might see a little glitch on that counter, I don't know. Yeah, let's see that 200 changes. And that's why I'm changing the pre-scaler at 201, changing the pre-scaler. And then from now on it becomes less accurate. Well, I think it's up to about 10. 210 but what I'll do knock this back down so 200 3 4 5 6 800 so you can see I've knocked it down 10 so it was 790 we've got 791 there it's still accurate to within a few counts but the higher you go it starts counting in bigger chunks so it's pretty accurate Right, let me show you the code. Right, this is code. As before, untied need capture one. Right, what I've done, uh, given the timer value, um, a frequency. So we're using timer two. 
and we're configuring the prescaler depending on what the frequency is. So that's what this value is for, unsigned value. And if you look at the capture, hope you got that in the screen. Look at the capture, so we've got timer two, zero, time two con equals this value. And capture one equals IC one buff. And we're clearing the capture flag. That's the same as before. So that's initializing the capture. That's the priority uh, enables, etc. That's the configuration for IC one con. So we're capturing every rising edge. Uh, that's the initialization for the display. Triz D uh, pin 8 or bit 8 of Triz D is the input. That's just initializing the uh, MCU. There's the unsigned longs and uh, for the RPM and frequency. Well, I don't need any of that. That's just giving me my uh, yellow and red display. Right, this is a wild one. So RPM and frequency divided at times 60. Right, look, so if the frequency is less than 200, less or equal to 200, value equals OX8070. So that's 70 there. That's a pre-scale by uh, dividing the timer by 256. And then simply the frequency is equal to 39,200 divided by capture one. Now, depending on what your clock is running at, you need to mess about with this figure and you can calibrate it, get it accurate. So that's if the frequency is less than 200. Otherwise, if it's over 200, we're dividing by 60, not the 70, dividing by one to 64. Uh, and then the frequency for this clock, one, it's roughly four times that figure. We're going from 256 to 64, so multiply that by four times. This has been adjusted for accuracy. And then there's a text to give you the figures on the screen. Hopefully that will make sense. So quite easy, but more importantly, it's measuring it down to one hertz. So you've got something running slow. This is a pretty good program, I think. Anyway, hope it helps. Thank you very much.